It's True Stealth's gaming channel. And we're currently on the fourth episode of the Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle episode mode. So we're currently on the episode Blaze Blue path, and we just finished the first, we finished the second chapter of it. Last chapter, we were up against Ruby and Blake. And it was an interesting little fight because Ruby's full of energy like she always is. And Blake was just kind of being there like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. But it was nice. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't as nice. But in the end, we are the pull through. And that's what's important. And for this episode, we're going on to chapter three of the episode. Here, the scenery changed again. And I'm actually kind of happy that my theory from last episode, which I thought was getting disproven when Gordo showed up. Oh, well, I mean, that theory was disproved that we're going to get a different place of character each time. But the theory of us facing a different franchise with each battle does still seem to hold up. So first time, we're up against Iron Knight in birth. Second time, we're up against Ruby. And considering how we just faced... I think you're saying how the first time we faced ourselves from Blaze Blue, and we got Blaze Blue character in Rachel. And the second time, we were up against Under Knight in birth, XD Latest, and we got uh, one of their characters in Gordo. Gordo. And last time we faced Ruby characters. So perhaps we may be getting Weiss or Yang, who, considering the fact that we've been having more intellectual characters, I'm guessing it'll probably be Weiss. Though I would imagine that Yang might just come along and join too. And since we actually did face Ruby, like I predicted, I'm going to go ahead and say that this time we're going to be facing up against Persona 4 just because it's the last like those base games that we haven't played against yet. And well, no matter what the outcome is, it should be fun. So I talked enough. Let's get back into the gameplay. But it definitely doesn't seem like the goal. Yeah, I doubt it. Well, with any luck, I'll run into a familiar face and get some more information. All around me are familiar faces. Huh? Who's that? Oh, Yukiko! Oh. Where'd you go? So we aren't facing Persona. Because if Chie is here, I can't imagine her facing off against her other friends. And also, my theory about the intellectual characters was also disproved. Really, game? I literally just talked about it last time you were helping me out, and now you're already going against me. You turn your back on me that quick. Man, it seems you can't avoid the crossing face. But I guess it does make, I guess it's also more reasonable than having a Ruby character just come out of nowhere. I mean, they still can, but yeah. At least I know how to play Chase. Girls from another world. Just how many damn worlds are mixed together here? Yes. Well, she doesn't look like she'll try to attack me, though. And counting. Hey, you! Uh, uh, me? Uh, may I ask your name? Two, me? Uh, look, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not here to fight. I just want to ask you something. People might try to fight me? Ah, oh, sheesh, this place is scary. Eh, anyway, what is it? Oh, yeah, this, this voice is not... I wonder when they recorded this, because this does not feel at the same quality of the standard voice acting, which is closer to the Ultimax. It's not for the Ultimax voice acting. So... You were brought here from somewhere else, right? What do you know about this world? Um, they said if we get our hands on this keystone thing, we can get out of here. But other than that, I've got nothing. I see. 
You said us. Are there others with you? Well, kind of. My friend and I were together a couple of minutes ago, but we got split up. Of course you did. Oh, maybe you saw her. She's got long hair and is wearing a red cardigan. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I didn't see her on my way here, at least. Oh, too bad. So, what do you plan to do if you see someone who's got a keystone? Well, that's the thing. I obviously want to get back to my world, but I don't really want to take someone else's chance away from them. Okay. That is probably the longest line I've seen yet, but yeah. Look at Chie being considerate. All that growth from Persona really stuck with her. It would be nice if we could all work together to find a way out of this place. Though her vocal quality of like her actual speaking is going up and down. Uh, not really sure why, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Work together, huh? Hey, do you <laughs> look out? Okay, so that electric sound is just every single time we go into battle, it's not even a specific character. Which makes sense, because Ruby's scythe doesn't sound like that, neither does Blake's. But, uh, alright, let's see who we're facing. I finally found you. Oh. Uh, we're still facing Blaze Blue. But. Oh, uh, wait, no! This is gonna be a painful fight. What is that? A persona? Ah! <laughs> no, Chie. <laughs> that's no pers That's as much as persona as your as uh, Ragnus Stan. I mean, but he's just as annoying. Huh? The hell's a persona? This guy's called Haku, and he's an asshole who never learned how to listen. Girl. If you do not wish to die, walk away. <sighs> Why? What are you talking about? This man, the Dark One, must perish at my hand. If this truly is a closed world, then there is nothing to stay my blade. Which makes this the perfect place to eliminate you. What did I just say about not listening? Look. I don't have time to entertain you, and we can't fight one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, oh, what's this I hear about entertainment? You really just had to say it, didn't you, Ragnar? Tempted fate and fate win. <laughs> I could use some fun. I haven't had any prey in a while, so I was starting to get bored. <laughs> oh, and I like that face of yours. I can't wait to see it twisted in pain and humiliation. What's with these people? Hey, are they always like this? I don't know about the red one, but the white one sure is. I try to talk him out of this, but there's no point. Okay, if we've got oh. no choice, then I'll help you. That's so cool. So I just realized each different franchise in chat is represented by a different color. For example, Rag and the Blaze characters all have blue. And it seems that all Persona characters will have yellow. Because Ernite and Birth had purple. And Ruby, I'm guessing, I, I think had red. I wasn't paying attention, but I would assume so. Are you stupid? Hurry up and run! It's a pretty cool little feature. Don't call me stupid! You seem like a good guy. I can't just leave you to the wolves. No, you idiot. You're enabling the fight. That's what I like to hear. You're just brimming with energy. Makes it all the more fun to crush it out of you! Alrighty, now that our players are all lined up, let's begin the tag battle! I have 
my concerns about fighting alongside this man. But I shall not turn my back now. My sole purpose is to hunt down evil. My sword is the blade of truth. <sighs> my edge is beyond the edge. I am the white void. I am the cold steel. I am the just sword. I am Hakuman. The end has come. <laughs> die, die, die! It's Reaper. Hey, take it easy. All right. Uh, I feel like I probably know Chie a bit better. So I'll use Robin first. Get ready. Alright, just gonna let's actually engage this time. Oh yes, yes, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a really good. Thing. He actually dropped it, which allowed me to do that great stuff. That's nothing. That's nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's not So the thing about Carmine is he heals based off of uh, like how much damage he does, and that's gonna be annoying because. Okay, actually, let's switch out here. Oh no, I guess we're just gonna finish him like this. Nope. Now you've done it. Yeah, that's easy. Because Chie's combo is pretty nice. What? How do you feel? Wait, I'm saying how do you feel or not? Great! Now this is getting exciting! Well, that was a nice and quick fight. Wow. The things that happen like have a character I know how to use. It's amazing. A minor setback. But I shall not be swayed. Damn it. We're not gonna last much longer like this. We're gonna need to find a chance to run and No 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 no! This was a tag battle, so the losers must exit immediately. Oh, well, there goes her uh, interesting rules again. Let's see exactly how she makes an exit. The hell? Yep, that little freeze frame stuff. I mean, the negative uh, on these characters looks interesting. Look, Karma is looking like Sephiroth without the wings. Oh, the one winged angel, now with no wings. Hmm. And Hockeyman, uh, his hair looks interesting. The rest of him kind of just looks like he's wearing armor or something. Okay. See you all next match. Huh. Maybe she does have her uses. <laughs> Woo! Everything somehow worked out. Now that those assholes are out of the way, let's get back on track. You should stay out of this. Huh? Look, I need to destroy this stupid world so I can get back to my own. And not just me. It'd get you and your friends back to your world, too. So go somewhere safe and stay put. I mean, I guess I'll try, but is anywhere safe around here? Uh, let me... You're safer not around Ragnar. I don't know, but you'll figure something out. Anything's better than taking part in this stupid tournament. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Kicking everyone else down just so me and my friends can go home would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Maybe hiding out and not fighting is the right choice. <gasps> oh my Chie. 
Are your grades improving? But I still need to find my friend. That's what matters, not the keystones or whatever. Yep. Go protect Yukiko. She's still waiting for her prince. I see. Just be careful. You never know where your next fight might come from. Got it. Thanks. Don't push yourself too hard. Oh. Oh, yet another weird ass place. Damn. How much farther am I supposed to go? Well, with that, that was the end of chapter three, and we're in a palace of swords, which is a pretty nice change of pace. This one went by much quicker since I was able to win the first time. Though it is fairly nice that all of these chapters seem to be about uh like 10 to like 10 to 15 minutes of dialogue like waiting for all the stuff to pass by so it's not something that's too long for someone to do in a single sitting yeah i hope y'all enjoyed if y'all did tell me what you enjoyed tell me what you didn't enjoy etc and watch the next episode